Hi everyone and welcome to the 2021 FCC Annual Public Meeting. Bonjour et bienvenue à l'Assemblée publique annuelle 2021 de FAC. My name is Lynn Robichaud and I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at FCC. Thank you for joining us for today's event. Our goal today is to give you a bit of an overview of who FCC is and what our objectives are. We're also going to take some time to identify our key strategic focus areas, and we're going to share some of the highlights of the past fiscal year. Donc, mon nom est Lynn Robichaud et je suis directrice des relations avec l'industrie ici à FAC. Merci beaucoup de vous joindre à nous pour cet événement aujourd'hui. Donc, notre but dans les prochaines minutes, c'est de vous donner un bref aperçu de qui est FAC et quels sont nos objectifs. On va aussi déterminer nos principaux domaines d'intervention stratégique et on va partager certains des faits saillants de l'exercice qui vient tout juste de s'écouler. This meeting is being presented virtually. However, no matter where each of us is participating from in Canada, we are all on Indigenous territories with rich traditions, stories and histories that should be understood and honored. Donc, cette rencontre, bien évidemment, vous est présentée en mode virtuel. Par contre, quel que soit l'endroit où nous nous trouvons aujourd'hui au Canada, nous sommes tous sur des territoires autochtones qui sont riches en traditions, en récits et en histoires qui doivent être compris et honorés. So, today on the agenda for you, first, you will hear from the chair of the FCC Board of Director, Jane Halford. Then we will hear from FCC's President and Chief Executive Officer, Michael Hoffert. And finally, we'll receive remarks from FCC's Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, Ross Topp. So without further ado, I'll pass it over to FCC Board Chair, Jane Halford. Hello everyone, my name is Jane Halford. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Jane Halford. I've served on the FCC Board of Directors since 2014 and I've been the chairperson since April 2020. Founded in 1959, FCC has been a strong and stable partner to Canada's agriculture and agri-food industry for over 60 years. Fondé en 1959, FAC est un partenaire solide et stable à l'industrie agricole et agroalimentaire du Canada depuis plus de 60 ans. FAC est une société d'État financièrement autonome. Notre but est d'offrir du financement aux exploitations agricoles aux agro-entreprises et aux entreprises agroalimentaires canadiennes de toute taille. FAC est le seul prêteur entièrement dédié à l'agriculture et l'agroalimentaire au Canada. FCC is accountable to the Government of Canada. We're governed by the Farm Credit Canada Act and the Financial Administration Act. Our priorities reflect the federal government's mandate to support the agriculture and agri-food sector in a way that allows this vibrant industry to be both the leader of job creation and innovation. Les priorités gouvernementales pour le secteur comprennent les producteurs et aux entreprises confrontées à défis en raison de pandémie de COVID-19, le soutien aux exportations agroalimentaires, les groupes sous représentés de l'industrie agricole et agroalimentaire canadienne, des produits pour faciliter des transferts intergénérationnels et aider les jeunes et les nouveaux agricultures entrant dans l'industrie, ainsi que les problèmes de santé mentale auxquels sont confrontés les producteurs. FCC has done an excellent job of fulfilling its mandate in the 2020-21 fiscal year. And in the opinion of the Board of Directors, the Corporation is poised to provide excellent support to the industry in the years to come. FCC is led by a Board of Directors that consists of myself, FCC President and CEO Michael Hofford, and 10 other Directors. FSA dirige un conseil d'administration dont je fais partie avec le Président Directeur Général de FSA, Michael Hofford, et 10 autres Directeurs. Le conseil d'administration est chargé d'exercer un rôle de leadership et surveillance indépendante la gestion des activités de FSA. Our current board consists of members from across Canada. We have a diverse set of backgrounds with extensive experience in executive leadership, agriculture, agri-food, finance, government, law, economics, corporate consulting, and international development. 
it's an honor and exciting opportunity to draw on the various talents and expertise to enable the success of FCC. Before I let you go, I'd like to talk about three statements that represent what we stand for as an organization. Statements that reflect FCC's value and the impact we'd like to make on the world. First, we contribute to the strength and the future of the agriculture and food industry. Nous contribuons à la vitalité et l'avenir de l'industrie agricole et agroalimentaire. This statement speaks to FCC's core functions to provide financing for primary production, agribusiness, and agri-food customers across the country. FCC also empowers the next generation of the industries and small and medium-sized operations. Other ways that FCC supports the future of the industry is through its offering in free business resources, knowledge events, and through mental health initiatives specific to the ag and food professionals. Second, we partner to reduce hunger and enrich rural Canada. Nous créons des partenariats afin de lutter contre la faim d'améliorer la qualité de vie dans la région rurale du Canada. FCC Drive Away Hunger, our flagship nationwide food drag, collected a record 17 million meals for Canadians in need last year. In collaboration with our amazing partners, customers, and our communities across Canada. FCC gives back to the communities it serves, donating over $3.2 million to charities and nonprofits last year. Third, we operate sustainably and support our customers to do the same. Nous menons nos activités de manière durable et nous aidons nos clients à faire de même. FCC is on track to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by 2025, and we're actively developing an ESG framework. We're also determining how to best support our customers on their sustainability journeys with financing, tools, and knowledge. FCC is also part of the Print Relief Program, which measures paper consumption and converts pages into real trees planted in global reforestation projects. In closing, I'd like to take an opportunity to thank our outgoing board members, Dylan Aquad, who was a director from 2017 to 2020, and Doris Priddle, who served on the board of directors for just over eight years from 2012 to 2021. We are so grateful to Dell and Doris's contribution to FCC and to the Canadian agriculture and agri-food industry. I'm also excited to welcome some of our new board members and to acknowledge two reappointments. James Laws and Michelle Hengen have been reappointed to three-year terms. Rita Agricar, Sylvie Chagnon, and Michael Tees are our new board members, all appointed for four-year terms. Thank you so much for tuning in to our virtual annual public meeting. After a brief video, we'll hear from SEC President and CEO Michael Hoffert. Merci d'avoir assisté à notre Assemblée publique annuelle virtuelle. Après un court video, le PDG de FSA, Michael Hoffert, se dressera à nous. Qui est FAC? Ce que nous sommes est avant tout ce que vous êtes. Les objectifs que vous vous êtes fixés et les rêves que vous souhaitez réaliser. Vous vous investissez à fond dans votre entreprise et nous aussi, car nous sommes le seul prêteur entièrement dédié à l'agriculture et à l'agroalimentaire au Canada. Tout commence par un rêve. Et ce rêve a besoin d'un partenaire qui comprend ce qu'il vous faut pour lui donner vie. Que vous souhaitiez démarrer, agrandir ou transformer une entreprise agricole ou agroalimentaire, nous pouvons vous aider. Plus qu'un simple prêteur, nous sommes un allié, un catalyseur et nous sommes là à chaque étape de votre parcours. C'est ce que nous sommes. Effacer, rêver, bâtir, réussir. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Hoffert. Thank you for tuning in to our virtual annual public meeting. On behalf of our team of over 2,100 employees from coast to coast, it's my pleasure to speak with you today. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Michael Hoffert. Merci de vous joindre à nous pour notre Assemblée publique annuelle virtuelle. De la part de nos 2,100 employees partout au Canada, il me fait grand plaisir de m'adresser à vous aujourd'hui. Because of the global COVID-19 pandemic, 2020-2021 was a year unlike any other. The year began with great uncertainty. 
In March 2020, as the first round of lockdowns began across the country, Prime Minister Trudeau announced that FCC would receive a $500 million enhancement to our capital base to ensure FCC could stand strong and support the agriculture and food industry that was experiencing market and supply chain disruptions. In the months that followed, we offered loan payment deferrals and products to assist our customers with their cash flow needs. From March 2020 to the end of the fiscal year, nearly 5,000 customers utilized payment deferral options on loans totaling $5.6 billion. It's worth noting that 98% of customers that access these payment deferrals have since returned to regular payment schedules on their FCC loans. Préfère face au changement causé par la COVID-19, nous avons également introduit des produits de prêts spéciaux approuvés de prêts totalisant près de 1 milliard de dollars et plus de 2 000 clients. La pandémie a également exigé un passage rapide au travail à distance, accélérant l'adoption de demandes de prêts numériques et de fonctionnalités d'administration de prêts, avec plus de 30 000 documents signés électroniquement par nos clients. I believe the past year confirmed the benefits of Crown Corporations to all Canadians. In the early stages of the pandemic, the federal government, FCC, and our board of directors collaborated like never before to introduce emergency support programs for the industry and our customers. Looking ahead, we're working together to identify ways this great industry can contribute to Canada's post-COVID economic recovery. There's much work to be done, but I'm excited for FCC and the opportunity for the broader agriculture and food industry to play an even bigger game. Our board chair, Jane Halford, spoke about our public policy role and mandate. I'd like to comment on how FCC is fulfilling our mandate with highlights from this past fiscal year. Notre priority principal, lors de dernier exercice financier, était de soutenir nos clients, nos employés et l'industrie agricole et agroalimentaire canadienne pendant la période difficile causée par la pandémie de COVID-19. Un engagement clé de notre mandat à FAC est de soutenir la croissance de la prochaine génération de notre industrie. Nous avons prêté 4,6 millions de dollars à des jeunes agriculteurs et entrepreneurs l'année dernière. Nous avons également élargi notre offre de services conseillers pour permettre la transition de l'exploitation familiale. De plus, nous avons offert nos inventements d'apprentissage de façon virtuelle et nous avons pu joindre 32 000 participants à travers le pays. In terms of serving underrepresented groups in Canadian agriculture and agri-food, we approved $500 million in loans as part of our Women Entrepreneur Program and advanced our strategies to support Indigenous agriculture. We had an exceptional year lending to agribusiness and agri-food sector. We processed 75% more loans and added over 700 new customers, with over 90% of these being small and medium-sized enterprises. We also significantly advanced our venture capital strategy. It currently consists of 11 investment fund commitments of almost $500 million and three strategic partnerships with accelerators. This will enable further innovation, sustainability, and growth in the egg tech and egg food ecosystem. We delivered on our mandate commitment to support mental wellness among Canadian producers, funding mental health first aid training courses, and including mental health content in our series of knowledge events. Je suis tellement reconnaissant des efforts de nos employés cette année, qui ont une fois de plus prouvé qu'ils sont un groupe d'employés de classe mondiale ayant une grande capacité d'adaptation. It hasn't been easy adjusting to working from home, abiding by varied COVID restrictions across the country, and finding new and innovative ways to support our customers and our industry, but we did it all with a one-team spirit. I'm proud to be part of this organization, and I want to sincerely thank our employees for a job well done. FCC remains the strong, stable, and trusted partner that the Canadian agriculture and food industry has come to expect. We are committed to our organization's higher purpose, to serve the industry that feeds the world, inspiring possibility and passion. We will continue to provide access to capital and knowledge to ensure the industry not only flourishes, but is set up for even greater success, is a vital component of the post-COVID Canadian economy. On behalf of everyone at FCC, I want to express how proud we are to serve such an amazing industry made up of resilient and hardworking families and individuals. 
committed to provide food for Canadians and people all around the world. Through it all, it is our goal to help the industry dream, grow, and thrive. Thank you for joining us for this virtual meeting. Take care, everyone. Merci d'avoir été parmi nous pour cette réunion virtuelle. Prenez soin de vous et bonne journée. Hello, everyone. My name is Ross Top, and I'm pleased to deliver our financial results for the year ended March 31st, 2021, for our virtual annual public meeting. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Ross Top, et je suis heureux de vous livrer nos résultats financiers à l'occasion de notre Assemblée publique annuelle virtuelle. This past year, the Canadian agriculture and agri-food industry experienced several disruptions due to COVID-19, resulting in economic stress and uncertainty. Processing plant closures, limited labor availability, and food service and hospitality industry shutdowns were just a few of the disruptions. FCC stepped up by developing a comprehensive COVID-19 support program to ensure that primary producers, agribusinesses, and agri-food could remain focused on their business critical functions. FAC a connu une bonne année malgré les défis mondiaux causés par la pandémie. Les volumes de prêts ont été très élevés et ont dépassé ceux des années précédentes. Les clients continuent de croître et de faire des investissements stratégiques dans leurs opérations. Au dernier exercice, nous avons enregistré une demande record de financement dans les trois secteurs d'activité. Nous avons traité 31 de prêts de production primaire de plus et 75 plus de prêts pour l'agro-entreprise et l'agro-alimentaire. As a result, our balance sheet continues to grow. As of March 31st, 2021, loans receivable and leasing reached $41.5 billion, growing by nearly $3 billion, or 7.6% year over year. Our agribusiness and agri-food portfolio grew substantially as well, increasing more than 26% year over year to a total of $6.5 billion, reflective of FCC's support to grow value-added processing in Canada. Although COVID-19 support early in the year was focused on working capital needs and provision of payment deferrals, this trend did not last. By the end of March 2021, over half of the COVID-19 deferrals had expired, and as Michael mentioned, 98% of the customers have returned to making regular payments. The COVID support programs appear to be having a positive effect, and FCC has not observed any significant deterioration in our overall health of the portfolio to date. The magnitude of potential default risk has decreased since the start of the fiscal year, resulting in an overall decrease in the allowance for credit loss of $37 million to $218 million by the end of the year. Le rendement financier d'FAC au cours de la dernière année reflète la force et la résilience de l'industrie agricole et alimentaire du Canada. Net income was $812.5 million, an increase of almost $180 million from the previous fiscal year. This was primarily due to higher net interest income from portfolio growth, an increase in income from venture capital equity investments, and a decrease in the provision for credit losses. The decrease in the provision for credit losses was primarily the result of a decrease in expected loss associated with challenges brought on by the pandemic. Running an efficient operation remains a focus for FCC. During the year, FCC continued to make strategic investments to advance our digital capabilities to better serve our customers, both in person and online, and provide added value through knowledge, products, and services tailored to meet their needs. FCC's efficiency ratio improved by 1.7% to 36.1% this past year. This was mainly due to a growth in net interest income outpacing the growth of administration expenses. FAC est fier d'être le plus important fournisseur de financement à l'industrie agricole et alimentaire du Canada et d'être un système de soutien stable pour nos clients depuis plus de 60 ans. Malgré les défis présentés par la pandémie mondiale, les secteurs agricoles et agroalimentaires du Canada se sont bien adaptés et sont bien placés pour tirer parti de la reprise économique. FCC's strong balance sheet and capital foundation enabled us to be a strong partner in supporting the agriculture industry's growth, which will play an important role in Canada's post-pandemic economic recovery and ensure the industry's stability through all economic cycles. Thank you for watching our virtual and public meeting. Merci d'avoir suivi notre Assemblée publique annuelle virtuelle. La production d'aliments est un moteur qui fait tourner l'économie d'ici. 
Si vous cultivez, produisez, transformez, emballez ou distribuez, vous êtes là pour nourrir le monde et nous sommes là à chaque étape de votre parcours. FAC est le seul prêteur entièrement dédié à l'agriculture et à l'agroalimentaire au Canada. Et comme partenaire d'affaires, nous vous offrons du financement et des connaissances à la mesure de vos ambitions. À chaque repas, vous êtes là et nous sommes là pour vous. FAC. Rêver. Bâtir. Réussir. So this concludes the 2021 FCC Annual Public Meeting. On behalf of everyone here at FCC, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, uh, please email us at FCCAPM at FCC.ca. Thank you and have a nice rest of your day. Donc voilà, c'est ce qui conclut euh, cette Assemblée publique annuelle 2021 de FAC. De la part de tout le monde ici à FAC, j'aimerais vous remercier d'avoir pris part à notre événement. Si vous avez des questions au cours des prochains jours, je vous invite à nous en faire part par courriel au facapa.fac.ca. Merci et passez tous et toutes une excellente journée.